What is up guys and I am back with another video today talking about 7OH and uh, personally why I don't support it. Now um, what is 7OH? Uh, like what's inside of it you might ask and um, it's a it's a compound within Kratom naturally and just powder in the leaf alone um, but it is so low in Kratom powder that it really doesn't make a difference. Now this this compound not compound this alkaloid present in kratom already is called 7 hydroxy metragenine and um it's uh you may be able to see it in some of your kratom products as you can see on the back when it tells you how much metragenine or 7 hydroxy metragenine is in your product it could say something like this uh, 0 0.001 or 0 0.003 etc and um that is in the microgram range now don't don't let me get you wrong uh, 7 hydroxymetragenine is the most potent thing in Kratom by far is 7 hydroxymetragenine but it's so low in Kratom powder in the leaf that it really doesn't cause a concern for respiratory depression um, and uh, it's also 13 times more potent than morphine to 30 times more potent than morphine depending um, but you can look this up if you don't believe me but um what is 7-OH exactly? Well, they take it out from Kratom and isolate it to where it's the only thing you're doing. And they do it in the milligram range, not the microgram range like it's present in Kratom powder, such as 00 or 0 0.001, etc. And uh, 7-OH is a cause for concern because um, it is very addictive. Um, but, you know, so is Kratom. I'm not saying that both aren't addictive, but if you don't believe me that 7-OH is more addictive than regular Kratom by itself, then... Uh, yeah, that's not an opinion. It's a fact. Um, I think that this is the reason why American Crime Association doesn't support 7-OH. Because 7-OH is marketed as a Kratom product when really it's just a synthesized extraction and isolation of an alkaloid present in Kratom. And um, it's not Kratom. No, it is not Kratom. And people can agree with me, especially this YouTuber called Healing Together. Great channel. Uh, he'll be in the description below. But he mentions the same things that I'm mentioning right now. And uh, it, you know, something like Kratom, like, you know, with regular Kratom leaf and powder, you know, you can go like 18 to 24 hours without it, without having a dose. Um, it can be hard, but, you, you know, you're not going to bang your head against the wall or try to steal your mother's things, for example. Um, just it's crazy. You know, people will do when they're really hooked on 7-OH. And this has uh, been one case, at least I've read that he would do anything to get it so he sold his products and pawned it except 7-OH guys it's more potent than morphine um 7 hydroxymetragenine already was more potent than morphine but it's so low like i say that it doesn't make a difference uh, i know i'm repeating the same things i say but i personally do not support 7-OH um i really don't know why it's labeled as a kratom product it really isn't um it is a major cause for concern um and I think that it would be single-handedly the reason, because of it being marketed as a Kratom product, that our just regular Kratom powder could get banned because of it. And uh, the American Kratom Association on the website doesn't support it. Uh, Kratom 100, Kratom Review 100 Reddit doesn't support it. And um, if the KCPA is passed in some of your states, it could be very well regulated out, which isn't a bad thing. You know, you still got Kratom powder. At least you got some Kratom, you know. A 7-OH, I don't recommend it. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me. I will see you later.